y synchronous motor is not a self starting motor i will explain it in two ways for that first it is needed to discuss about the principle of operation of synchronous motor so simply principle of operation of synchronous motor is here magnetic locking and that i will explain now first suppose if this is the stator and let the salient pole rotor be this and let the poles formed because of the DC excitation supply be north pole and south pole and because of the input supply let the poles formed here and here be north pole and south pole and we know that like poles will ripple and opposite poles will attract each other as here like poles they will get rippled and as here stator is static part and rotor is moving part which is free to rotate so because of repulsion rotor will get rippled let the repulsion be towards this direction and here this direction and this is the case when input supply is in first half period and in next half cycle of input supply stator poles will change let the poles change due to second half of the input cycle be south pole and north pole and at this position our rotor is here this is north pole and south pole and now observe here that these are unlike poles so that they will attract so the attraction will be towards this direction because rotor is free to move so like this and observe that in this case that is in first half cycle the direction of rotation is anti clockwise in second half cycle the direction of rotation of rotor is clockwise means here bidirectional torque is produced but it is discussed in rotating magnetic field and torque lecture video that for the rotor to rotate there must be unidirectional torque it is bidirectional torque so that rotor will not rotate and here you must observe that because of the input supply frequency the stator poles will change rapidly and rotor can't respond properly to the change in poles so is why rotor will not rotate because it is subjected to torques in both directions that is bidirectional torque so it is said that why synchronous motor is not a self starting means because of the inertia of the rotor that is because of the inertia of rotor only it is not able to respond to the rapid change of stator poles for one instant it is subjected to anti clockwise torque and to the next instant it is subjected to clockwise torque as so as it is rapidly subjected to clockwise and anti clockwise torques that is bidirectional torque rotor can't rotate and why it can't rotate means because of its inertia and now let's discuss how we can make the synchronous motor to rotate that is we are seeing now how to produce unidirectional torque for that consider this be the stator and let this be the input supply and uh, let this be the salient pole rotor and because of the dc excitation let the poles form here be south pole and north pole and because of the input supply let these poles form in north pole and south pole and observe here that here the poles are unlike poles means there is a force of attraction so let's consider it to be clockwise and now consider the second instant of supply that is second half cycle of input supply and because of the second half cycle no poles will get changed so this will be south pole and this will be north pole and now if you can make an external arrangement like this that is change of rotor position along with the rapid change of stator poles then observe here as here no attraction so is why rotor rotation will be clockwise so in both instances the torque produced is clockwise so is why here the unidirectional torque is produced as here the unidirectional torque is produced it can be said that rotor will rotate and why it is rotating means because of magnetic locking so is why the principle of operation of synchronous motor is said to be magnetic locking now let's see the other way of explanation further 
you need to know about the principle of operation of induction motor. Constructional lean, if you see, the scattered construction of induction motor and synchronous motor are same. And uh, let this be the rotor of induction motor and let this be the rotor of serial pole type synchronous motor. And why the synchronous motor is not self starting means we discussed it is because of the rotor inertia. But induction motor rotor is also having inertia. Then it should also be not a self starting motor. But induction motor is a self starting motor. Why? Why means in case of induction motor the relative speed between stator rotating magnetic field and rotor rotating magnetic field that is at starting is zero because of the relative speed between the stator rotating magnetic field and rotor rotating magnetic field induction motor is a self starting motor so to start the synchronous motor we need to make the relative speed between the stator magnetic field and rotor magnetic field to zero and for that what we must do is by some external arrangement we need to make the rotor to rotate at the speed of synchronous speed so if we can make the rotor to rotate at the speed of synchronous speed then the rotating magnetic field of stator because of input supply is ns and because of the external arrangement the rotor speed is ns so as here ns and as here ns so relative speed is here zero so that we can say synchronous motor started so by this way we can start this synchronous motor and the different starting methods to start this synchronous motor will be discussed in the next topic and uh, if this is confusing there is other simple way to understand that is we know that why synchronous motor is not self starting means because of the inertia of rotor so let us suppose this is the fixed body which is on the ground surface and to move this we need to give a force and once it is set into motion to move it further we need to apply only little force which means when the body is in fixed state its inertia is more and once the body is set to rotating state its inertia will reduce so is why a little force is enough to move the body further and the same concept applies here and because of the rotor inertia synchronous motor is not self starting so to make it start we need to reduce its inertia to zero so how to reduce the inertia of rotor to zero means by rotating it and by rotating the rotor of synchronous motor to synchronous speed its inertia will be almost close to zero so once the inertia is zero the stator magnetic poles and rotor magnetic poles are magnetically locked and once they are magnetically locked synchronous motor will continue to rotate at synchronous speed and synchronous motor will continue to rotate at synchronous speed until its load angle is not beyond a particular value when the load on synchronous motor is increasing 